You buy a Tesla to go green, of course. You buy a Tesla to impress the ladies, sure. You buy a Tesla because deep down you fancy yourself a secret agent, and when you get behind the wheel, you feel like James Bond. Well, that fantasy just got a little closer to reality because Truman Kane from security firm Tavora just demonstrated a DIY modification that turns your Tesla into a mobile surveillance unit, complete with license plate and facial recognition. But if you're not a spy, it's just kind of weird. This is Knee the Curve. If you want to support this channel, there's a bunch of ways in the description to do that. I do have a Patreon. You can throw some crypto at me, or you can just tell a friend. So you're probably already familiar with Tesla's Sentry Mode, which is basically you stick a USB into your car and it records from all the cameras around your car. It's been very helpful catching vandals, but Truman Kane's system takes it to the next level. If there's a chance you're being followed, you might pull over randomly a few times throughout your drive to let any potential following vehicles pass and to give Scout a chance to detect them. If any following vehicles are detected, you'll see a pop-up on the screen letting you know and you'll see a notification as well on, uh, on your cell phone. And look at that. So as you're driving around, the car watches for every face and license plate it can detect. And as soon as it detects one, it logs it. And it keeps track of how many times it's seen the same face and the same license plate. And if it reaches a certain threshold that you set, it will tell you, hey, this looks like a high risk person. We've seen their license plate five times. They might be following you. Or this person's been coming around and looking in your car. Watch out. Now, those headlights turning on is a native function of Tesla's sentry mode. But when a familiar face is detected, you get a notification just like this one, letting you know of that familiar face. If you get notified of a high-risk person or vehicle, you could see the date, time, and geographic location for each instance that a car or a person was detected. You can then watch the video of the car or person with that corresponding location and see what they were doing. So how much would it cost to turn your car into a mobile surveillance unit? Well, it's not as much as you might expect. You basically just buy some off-the-shelf parts, really one computer for $700. All the software is open source and available for free. And Truman has put up instructions on GitHub for how to do all of this. Link in the description. The Jetson Xavier has six different processors. This is a chip that was specifically designed for intelligent robots. An octa-core ARM CPU, a Volta Tensor Core GPU, two NVIDIA deep learning chips, as well as vision, video, and image processors. This is definitely not a hack to your Tesla software. You don't have to tear your car open. You don't have to hack your Tesla software. This is an external computer that basically just takes the camera footage from your car and processes it in a way using deep learning to recognize the faces and the plates and give you the information and the alerts and all that stuff. This is obviously the type of functionality that could be an upgrade for Sentry Mode, but Hardware 3.0 is gonna be tasked with driving the car. If this feature set for Sentry Mode is going to take up a lot of processing power, I don't really see them putting that in there. Maybe we would see that in the next generation of hardware after 3.0. My prediction is this will remain an extra feature that you'll have to do yourself at least until the next version of hardware. So why would anyone want this? Well, maybe you're a spy. And this it could be better than what you'd get at the CIA spy store. A drug dealer. Drug dealers would want this, definitely, because I'm sure they have to watch their back at all times and want to know who's following them. So first off, don't sell drugs. Second off, if you do sell drugs, stay safe. Maybe you have a stalker, it happens, and you want to keep track and show evidence of this person prowling around your car and how many times they're following you in your car so that you can present that to the court and get a restraining order. I could see anybody that's famous wanting to have something like this in their car. Anybody that has a bodyguard. Maybe you're a private investigator 
and somebody's on to you. You're tailing them and then they start tailing you and then it's like a surveillance, counter surveillance situation and then you always want to have the upper hand so you have to have this, it's just part of the job. For regular people, you probably don't need it unless you just like really, really fancy yourself a secret agent. Then if you're not though and then people find out that you had it, yeah, it might be kind of creepy. It could also be illegal. States like Georgia and New Hampshire have laws against automatic license plate readers. And besides being illegal, there are definite privacy implications. Truman did drop the information that anybody with just a moderate amount of coding knowledge could tweak this software to network up cars to share all the license plate and facial recognition data, in which case you could theoretically link all the Teslas throughout the country to share their data, and you'd have a surveillance system that tracked every car and face on the roads. We haven't even seen this kind of surveillance state, maybe in China, but it's the kind of thing that could develop overnight. Just think of how many cameras would be on the road constantly tracking every license plate and face throughout the country, and then all of a sudden we live in a surveillance state. Oosh! Scary stuff. Truman says he developed this for the people that obviously fall on the paranoid end of the spectrum, but he also just wanted to demonstrate a product that capitalizes on the type of information your car is already recording about you and your surroundings. So even though this may seem like some creepy invasion of privacy, the fact is these things are being recorded anyway, but nobody's really using it to its full potential, and that's what this modification does. This is the kind of technology when paired with autonomy would allow for people to send their car out to follow a certain license plate or face and perform, perform surveillance on somebody without even being in the car yourself. You better hope you're not with a jealous person that owns a Tesla because they'll just be able to send their car out and follow you around all night. Everybody's gonna have to be some sort of CIA counterintelligence genius and have a particular set of skills to evade the surveillance that is already out there. The world's about to get crazy, people. The next 30 years are gonna see some things like we've never seen before. This is just the start. This, this is tame compared to what we're about to see. Would you do this to your car? Please give me a comment let me know in what circumstances would this be helpful for you? Do you think it's super scary that people might be doing this and you could be caught and your privacy could be invaded? Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that shit.